Hi, this is Sundar from Vision Academy. Today, I will teach you Introduction to Transportation Problem Lecture 1. In this series of lecturing, I will address Types of Transportation Problem, Methods of Transportation Problem, Mathematical Formulation of Transportation Problem. I will address all sort of issues relevant to transportation problem in this series of lecturing. I am working as Assistant Professor in Commerce. Also, I have completed my post-graduation diploma in Applied Statistics from IGNO. I feel I am sufficient enough to carry this transportation problem from Industrial Statistics. Please subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel. A manager typically faces many problems. Transportation problem is also one of them, such as transporting goods without barriers, minimizing transportation cost, optimum allocation of goods, timely meeting the requirement of warehouses, etc. Transportation problem will address all these issues. Most of the linear programming problems will be solved by simplex method, but the transportation problem is a special type of linear programming problem where the objective is to minimize the cost cost of distributing a product from a number of sources or origin to a number of destination so transportation problem main intention is to minimize the cost minimize the cost in distributing a product from a number of sources or origin to number of destination so we better to understand the uh, what is transportation transportation is the process of shipping goods or consignment from origin to destination usually origin will be factory destination will be warehouses or the uh, where the final uh, sale will be taken place so here in this case we should understand what is origin what is destination and what is unit the origin of a transportation problem is the location location from which shipment are dispatched it means origin is the location location usually factory or manufacturing place so origin uh, from factory to destination we have to tra uh, transfer the goods where we our main intention is to minimize the cost it will be done by transportation problem and let us know the destination the destination means destination of a transportation problem is the location to which the shipments are transported destination usually the warehouses or the final sales will take place so origin to destination we need to transport the goods or consignment so during these this process we need to minimize the cost as far as possible this will be done by transportation problem and let us know what is unit the unit transportation cost is the cost of transporting one unit of the consignment from an origin to destination what is the cost will take place while transporting goods from origin to destination it is the unit let me show you an example that how does transportation problem is applicable in industry a manager has three factories three factories may be abc factories are origin and four warehouses that is destination it may be defg the uh, manager having information regarding the quantities of goods available in each factory in abc factory and the requirements of goods in each warehouses it means destination defg and the cost of transportation of product from each factory to warehouses uh, are given for the manager now manager objective is to ascertain the quantities to be transported from various factories to different warehouses from abc factories to different defg warehouses in such a way that the total transportation cost is minimized while he performing this task that must be uh, useful to minimize the total transportation cost in this in this case transportation problem is helpful to manager coming to the next topic uh, it's a types of transportation problem 
Actually, in the transportation problem, based on the capacity and requirement, there are two types of transportation problem. One is balanced transportation problem. It means supply equal to demand. Where the supply meets demand equally, this is the case of tra balanced transportation problem. Uh, look at here. Balanced transportation problem is a transportation problem where the total availability at origin is equal to the total requirement at destination look at this picture this pictorial uh, uh, i will give you a pictorial explanation this is a factory factory a b c and warehouses warehouses d e f g this is a capacity of three factories factory a capacity is 160 factory b capacity is 150 and factory c capacity is 190 and total capacity of a b c factory is 500 and warehouses requirement let us know the requirement of warehouses warehouses warehouse d warehouse requirement is 80 and e warehouse requirement is 90 f warehouse requirement is 110 and g warehouse requirement is 210 if you add add all these together requirement it is a 500 and capacity is 500 requirement is 500 now supply supply means capacity of the factory demand demand is requirement of the warehouses is equal and this is a case of what balance the transportation problem so we have three factories each uh, total three factories total capacity is 500 and we have four warehouses four warehouses capacity uh, requirement is this 500 this is the case of tra uh, balanced transportation problem another type of tra transportation problem is unbalanced transportation problem uh, it is opposite to balanced transportation problem where supply was equaling to demand but in unbalanced transportation problem supply is not equal to demand this is the uh, uh, balance, unbalanced transportation problem look at the destination and origin from is origin it means factory destination 2 is destination 3 factory capacity is uh, a capacity is 160 b factory capacity is 150 c factory capacity is 190 total 500 total factory capacity is 500 and let us know the destination requirement d destination requirement is 80 e is 90 f is 110 g is 160 total requirement from four destinations uh, is 440 so a capacity is highest and requirement is lowest uh, uh, sh uh, shortage to capacity so e this is the case of unbalanced transportation problem to make this balanced one we need to introduce a dummy variable dummy origin or dummy destination in this case capacity is uh, uh, capacity is higher than requirement so we need to introduce dummy destination not dummy origin okay in the dummy in the dummy destination we won't allocate any cost cost will be zero that is a dummy and we will allocate only shortage amount of requirement so in this case 60 is uh, shortage we will allocate by introducing dummy uh, destination h for 60 so this is the uh, this is how unbalanced transportation problem will uh, work we can't calculate for unbalanced transportation problem if it is so we need to convert that as balanced one then only we can apply transportation problem and next is methods of solving transportation problem usually you need to go through two methods while solving a transportation problem first one is finding initial basic feasible solution BSF basic feasible solution so firstly we will calculate basic feasible solution for the transportation problem to calculate basic feasible solution you need to follow any one of these three methods so first one is northwest corner rule the the allocation will start from northwest corner so that is the case you will follow in this and another one is least cost in the total cost matrix you will select least cost to first allocation and Vogel's approximation method so in this case you will uh, calculate uh, what row difference and column difference that means penalty you will select highest amount of pen uh, penalty and you will uh, allocate the cost I will explain in detail 
in the further lecture. So after finding basic feasible solution, you will optimize these basic feasible solution using modified Modi method and stepping stone method. Modi method and stepping stone method are optimi opti optimizing the basic feasible solution. Firstly, you have calculated basic feasible solution. You will improve those basic feasible solution using Modi method. It means modified distribution method and stepping stone method. Thank you, friend. I will uh, I will make a detailed lecture and uh, solve problem over these case and these methods. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.